Greetings, fellow Whovians. Hope you have a good week so far. I know I am. Well, today we're continuing our look at the Fifth Doctor era with the King's Demons. Ooh. So, here we go. In 1215, the court of King John of England is at the castle of Sir Ranulph Fitzwilliam to extort more taxes, and when the Lord refuses to pay, the king insults him. To defend his honor, his son Hugh takes on the king's champion, Sir Giles Estrum, in a joust. The latter wins easily, though the joust is disturbed by the arrival of the TARDIS. <clears throat> the Fifth Doctor, Tegan, and Turlo are greeted as demons and welcomed by the King. Okay. Having established a date, the Doctor concludes the King is not himself. In fact, he's not the King at all, so he's actually in London taking the Crusader's oath. Okay, that's interesting. Sir Geoffrey de Lacey, the cousin of Sir Ranulph, arrives at the castle and confirms he knows the King is in London. Sir Giles is about to torture him as a liar during, as a liar during a royal banquet when the doctor intervenes. It seems the king's champion is not who he claims to be either. Sir Giles sheds his disguise and reveals himself to be the doctor's nemesis, the master. Bom bom bom. He flees in his own TARDIS, which has been disguised as an Iron Maiden, not to be confused with the band Iron Maiden. There's a difference. The king knights the doctor as his new champion. As he is given, and he is given run of the castle. After a series of mishaps, including the death of Sir Joffrey at the Master's hands, the Doctor confronts the King, and the Master discovers the truth. The monarch is really chameleon, a war weapon found, in, found by the Master on Xerophas, which can be mentally controlled and used to adopt disguises and personas. Interesting. <clears throat> disguised as King John, the master intends a chameleon will behave so out so appallingly as so as to so as to provoke a rebellion and topple the real king from his throne, disrupting the world of Magna Carta, the foundation of parliamentary democracy. It is a small plan on the master's usual scale, but nevertheless particularly poisonous to the normal progress of Earth's society. Well duh. The doctor resolves the situation by testing the master in battle wits over chameleon. He takes control of the robot and steals it away in the TARDIS, thus foiling the Master's scheme. Woohoo! Chameleon reverts to his robot form and thanks the Doctor for his assistance and rescue. Yes, good job, Doctor. Well, anyway, let's get some production elements here, shall we? Actually, some production notes, I should say, but eh, all the same. The story was repeated on BBC One on consecutive Fridays from the 6th to 13th of June. 6th to 13th. 6 to 13th of July 1984, <clears throat> achieving viewing figures of 3.3 and 5.0 million, respectively. The working titles for this story were The Android, The Demons, A Knight's Tale, not to be confused with the movie, and Demon's Keeper. Part 1 of the story was built by BBC as the 600th episode of Doctor Who. Interesting. This story marked the first appearance of Chameleon as voiced by Gerald Flood. Freelance effects designer Richard Gregory and software designer Mike Power gave a demonstration of the robot prototype for Nathan Turner and Sayward. Nathan Turner was so impressed he commissioned scriptwriter Terrence, uh, Terrence Dudley to develop a storyline to introduce Chameleon into the series. Shortly after filming, however, Power died in a boating accident and no one was able and no one was able to continue his work. Well, that sucks. Subsequently, Chameleon made only two appearances before being written out of the series. In this story, the Master disguises himself as Sir Giles Estrum, Estrum being an anagram of Master. The Hyde Ainley's return, which Sir Giles is credited in the Radio Times as, as having been played by James Stoker, an anagram of Master's joke. Ah, clever! This story marks the last appearance of the TARDIS console room set, which have been used since the Invisible Enemy. A new console room will debut in the next story, The Five Doctors although the console itself will be reused as the second Doctor's console in The Two Doctors. Huh, interesting. So overall, this is a pretty good story and introduces Chameleon, although we would barely see him at all, so yeah. Anyway, so overall, I give The King's Demons three Sonic Screwdrivers out of five. Well, I'll join next week as we take a look at the 20th anniversary special, The Five Doctors. So, until then, this is Hoobie Queen saying, Oh my giddy aunt! When I say run, run, I have a recipe for the new Trumplo. Would you like a jelly, baby? Fantastic. Alon Z. Geronimo. Bow ties are cool. Fezzes are cool. And Stetsons are cool.